getting late. I've got some things to do. Oh, oh, well, I thought we could uh, maybe hang out today. Hang? Yeah. I'll go to the city, maybe get some dinner, catch a few plays, go to some museums. Yeah, well, I, I can't, not today. Well, then let's just stay here in town. Go hiking. Oh, you know what? There's a really cool film festival I think it'd be really... Look, Jack. Jack, that's enough. I can't keep doing this. Doing what? Before we even got out of bed this morning, you already had plans for our whole weekend. In every minute of the weekend. Livy. Now you've got plans for every Livy, minute Livy, I of like today. hanging out with you, and I thought you did, too. I do. It's just... I, I just, I've already made plans for today. Okay. What kind of plans? I'm gonna see my mother. Is that all right? I, no, that's fine. I'll go with you. No, you won't. Livy. Jack, stop smothering me. I want to be alone, okay? Alone. I can't remember the last time I've seen you this relaxed. Maybe we need to do this more often. Leave the cell phones and the pagers and just come out here. You, me, and the kid, just come out to the park. What do you say? Lambert. Lambert. Hmm. <laughs> I guess you were more relaxed than I thought. Oh, sorry. I guess I dozed off a little bit. It's OK, you need uh, your rest. Hmm. Especially after last night, between Danny and that nightmare I had. What nightmare? Oh, it's nothing. Come on, what you dream about? <sighs> well, now you're really gonna think I'm nuts. After everything we went through, battling Caleb, you and I being kidnapped, kind of seems like, gosh, almost a walk in the park. <sighs> that was your nightmare. Did Kevin talk to you? Kevin? No, why? See, what time is it? It's time to wake up, Doc. Lucy, what's wrong? Oh, I don't know. Who said anything was wrong? Okay. Hey, did you um, happen to have any interesting dreams last night? I don't know. I don't remember. Why? Oh, no reason. Except for the fact that after we made the most incredible love that I've probably ever made in my life, you called out your ex-wife's name in your sleep. What is up with you? Nothing. Then where's all this coming from? I mean, what changed since we made love last night? I felt so close to you. And now you are saying that I'm smothering you. It's because you are, Jack. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about the way you slept with one eye open all night watching me. I'm talking about these plans for 24-hour togetherness. Is it wrong to want to be with you? Jack, it's more than that, and you know it. 
Look, I, I thought we were, you know, we were going to get on with our lives and everything was going to be okay. I thought things were going to go back to normal. We are. It is. Everything you is wanting gonna... to stick to me 24 hours a day, every day, is not normal. Okay. You're right. You know what? I, I have been a little protective lately. But the thought of you going to see your mom, I mean, you know what that does to you. Her being catatonic, not being able to recognize you or see you. And I'm just afraid if you go You're there, afraid that it might remind me that Caleb somehow brought her back for me. But Caleb put those thoughts in your head. Yeah, Jack, I, I know it wasn't real. But she is still my mother, and I want to see her. Alone, right. Look, I, I thought... I thought that you said that you wanted to try and get our lives back on track. And how can I do that if you won't even let me out of your sight for five minutes? Come here. All right. Sit down. <sighs> Listen to me. The last thing I want to do is try to suffocate you. And it's not that I don't trust you. But I mean, come on, you gotta admit that things have been kind of crazy lately. I mean, with you going to the catacombs, oh, and how you got there? Do we really have to keep bringing that up? Well, I think it's a pretty big deal, don't you? No! Jack, I talked to my dad, and, and he said that when people are traumatized, that they sometimes afterwards act out in, in really weird, strange ways. And that's probably all it was. And if you just give me the time and, and the space to deal with whatever it is I need to deal with in my own way... Hey, all I'm asking is, let me go with you. Damn it, Jack, I said no! Why would you think I was talking to Kevin about the kidnapping? I don't know, he, um... He, he had mentioned the kidnapping earlier, and I just, no. Uh, everything's fine. It's a beautiful day. Just know that I'm here to protect you from nightmares and everything else. All right? The only thing that matters today is that we are here in this beautiful park under a beautiful clear blue sky with our beautiful little baby boy. Mm -hmm. The sun is shining, thank God. Birds are singing. Whoever said the simple pleasures in life were the best sure knew what they were talking about, huh? Simple is good. But you know, when you think about it, things weren't always that simple. I mean, when you think about what we had to go through to get to where we are now... I thought we weren't going to talk about that right now. Right. Right. Because if all of that kidnapping hadn't happened, you and I would not be here together. And we definitely would not have little Danny. Mm. I said Eve's name in my sleep? Yep, you sure did, loud and clear. Well, I, I don't know what to tell you, except I guess she's been on my mind with this whole Ian thing. Oh, right, that Ian staged the whole kidnapping thing just to take Eve away from you. I thought you didn't want to talk about that anymore. I don't, but obviously it's on your mind. Oh, see, don't tell me that you're taking this personally. No, of course not. It's just sometimes dreams do have hidden meanings, you know. I'm going to be so sorry I asked, but what do you think it means? I don't know. I, I mean, I can't be sure, but I do know that if Eve and Ian hadn't been kidnapped, that, well, we wouldn't be together and you'd still be married to Eve. Your point being? My point is, is maybe that's what your dream means to you, that you're sorry all that happened in lots of different ways. <sighs> Lucy! No, Doc, are you? Just answer me. Are you, are you sorry you lost Steve? And I told you, I finally have come to terms with the fact that I cannot have a baby of my own. But maybe you haven't. What? Maybe you haven't. Maybe that perfect picture of Eve and you and that beautiful little boy, maybe you picture yourself in it because it could have been you. We'll see. How can I make you see that Eve and I are over? And I've never been happier than I am right now because I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. With you. I love you. I love you. Very much. <laughs> oh. 
What's wrong? Nothing. Oh, don't give me that. I know that look. You're getting one of your feelings. Yeah, it's really a strong one, too. About? I don't know. I think it's about that phone call you got last night. That wasn't a wrong number, was it? It was the woman who wrote me the letter. She told me that there were things she still needed to let me know about Ian. I was going to tell you, but... No, you know, never mind. Like... What, what, what exactly did she say to you? She never got the chance. She heard your voice in the room and she hung up. Oh, no. So you don't know anything more about her? No. Nothing? No. Now, Lucy, I know how you feel about this. I know that you hate that I'm suspicious of Ian, but I'm not going to let this go until I understand what this is about. No, and now neither can I. You mean you agree with me? I'm... You agree that there might be something more to this? I don't know. I just agree there's something. There's got to be something. Because, Doc, there's this, and then and then Livy with that strange snake, and, and Eve freaking out of the hospital. Wait, 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 so wait, 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 wait. Are you saying that these are somehow all connected? I don't know. But we better find out, because if they are, there is something much, much more powerful at work here. <sighs> Would it help to ask you where you're going? I'm sorry, Jack. I didn't mean to yell at you. Libby, the last thing I want to do is make things worse. I know. I know you're just concerned, but whatever's going on with me, I will work through it. But not if I keep feeling like you're waiting for me to go crazy. I'm not. Then let me at least try to start living my life like other people. That means if I want to go see my mom by myself, I, I should be able to do it. And I, I know in my heart that what you want, what we want together, will never happen if we can't learn to live without fear. And trust me, Jack, fear will destroy us. So what do we do now? We live our lives, starting with today. You go to work. I'll go see my mom, and then maybe if, if you want, afterwards, we can have dinner or see a movie. That, that sounds good. Sounds really good. I think so, too. I know what you're saying is right. It's just that I love you so much. I love you, too. And I'll be okay, Josh. I mean, I'm, I'm determined to be okay. And you know how I get when I set my mind to something. Stay out of the way. Exactly. So, I have nothing to worry about. Neither of us do. I'll see you later, okay? Yeah. How about one for the road? How about two for the road? I like that. Yeah. I like two. That's three. <laughs> I love you. Love you, too. Okay, Libby. Time to get on with your life. What? What is it? What? <sighs> Rave, hi. Hey, Lucy. It's so funny. I, I, I was just thinking about you. You are exactly the person I need to talk to. That's why I'm here. You came to help. How is it you, you always know? It's magic. Thank <laughs> you. 
and Jack, I want to have my life back. We both know who you really want to live in. And who you really need to see. It ain't your mommy. And it definitely ain't Jack. Follow me, my love. Follow the sound of my voice. It's true, you know. That night changed everything. Forever. I was married to Kevin, and you were... Yeah, that was on my way out of town. I would be heard from again. Changed all of our lives. Mm-hmm. For the better, I hope. Oh, definitely for the better. There's just one little fly in the ointment. Yeah, what's that? What are we gonna tell Danny about how his daddy and mommy got together? This guy? Mm-hmm. We'll tell him the truth. Mm. Come sit. We'll tell him that his mother and father were kidnapped by an evil man and held in a dark dungeon where they fell in love. Well, truth be told, that uh, the father was already in love with the mother. First time he laid eyes on her. But I digress. I don't think he's going to know what that means. Can I finish my story? Oh. Please? Thank you. Apologize, Daniel. Anyway, they fell in love, and their love was so strong that they vanquished the evil kidnapper and got away. Ooh, tell me more, Daddy. Sounds exciting. And then your mother forgot who she was in love with. That is because your mother had a very serious cerebral contusion after being hit by a okay, car. And he's going to know what that means. The driver of which your daddy went on to marry. But for a very, very noble cause, because he needed to protect her from some very evil people. Right. But the most evil person was yet to come. He wasn't a person. He was a vampire. Let's not tell Danny about that part. No, that's not. The point is, little man, that your mother and father were up against all odds. They faced him, got through it, and here we are, family. It really is a miracle, isn't it? Something, someone, stepped in and changed the course of fate forever. <laughs> I've been waiting for you, Dr. Collins. No, don't turn around. Please. I said don't look at me. Well, at least tell me who you are and what the hell you're doing in my car. I'm the one who wrote you the letter. You called me last night. That was you. Yes. But then I realized I had to see you in person. Why? I'm very worried about Eve. Dr. Collins, you have to stop me now before it's too late. Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles. Tempted. And what about him? He's acting crazy. It's like he's, he's obsessed or possessed or... Or what? Something. Why don't you go in there, get some rest. Stop telling me what to do! I can think for myself. In Pine Valley, it's all about Erica Kane and her world. On SoapNet, it's all about you. Coming up next is All My Children on SoapNet, devoted to soaps and you.